What go on people? What go on YouTube? What go on Blue Color Farm? All right, so in other words, what we are gonna do? We are gonna look at I see inside a top ten stock pick. All right, so it has been a while since we last look at um, what John Jackson had to say about the stock market and uh, his stock ten or top ten stock pick. We also will be scrolling through the headlines of the Sunday Gleaner. So what we want to do, we want to find if we want to find out, look at things that are headlines that are of interest to us and uh, headlines that might impact our trading tomorrow. Come tomorrow, Monday, um, the trading week begins. All right. So top 10 stocks pick and uh, the headline, the Sunday Gleaner headline that is of interest. So let's go. All right, so <laughs> the headline that catch my attention, I swear, no don'ts allowed, no don'ts allowed. Uh, school administrators take stands, um, strong stance against controversial branded bag pack. All right, so what's this about? It's about this company that make school bags all right and they are starting to brand the bags as don'ts all right so you see this big don't spill on the bug <laughs> all right this big don'ts right written on the bugs all right so some school administration administrators i say yo them not letting the pit them out of the school if them should turn up monday morning <laughs> with any bug will have the word don'ts or don'ts you know what i mean written on it mad thing that cause some different point of views from different people locally a lot of people agree with principals who are taking that stance and a lot of people are say yo it don't make a difference it not change the price of rice whether or not people want to buy those types of bag and brand those types of bag because at the end of the day it's a local company that is doing it all right so a lot of people have issue with the word don'ts you know what i mean is is this new trend in dancehall ever since valiant sing the song back of the class bunks check you know what i mean claim same now no subject and all these things i was aware a lot of the school children a lot of the youth them are take on to it and the thing about it is that the brother will sing the song in the dunks. I mean, I think we take him in an interview, take him in an interview, we must say him have five, five subjects, something like that. However, he must sing the song, say him not on the subject, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, we have to really be careful of these entertainers, because you know for them thing is all about the money. It's all about the trend. So anything where we make money, anything where we trend, and put them name out there, they might go do it and they might go say it all right so the entertainers them sleep talking about dunks fully dunks and all these things so we see the youths them are taking on to it and a lot of youths are said them fully dunks and them that are the back of the class and all these things it's a dangerous road and we don't really want to go down there so so for me me i take stance our side with the administrators then we'll take a tough stance against having student coming into this into schools with bugs with dung's print on it and i mean to send the wrong message and we don't want them type of message in other school i swear even the song them we are promote the dung something them i think them should have banned them song down for the radio too that are just my views. Students who show up at um, Jonathan Grant High School tomorrow carrying bagpacks with the word dunks printed on them will be barred from classes. A deviant principal, Dr. O'Neill Ankle, has warned. All right, so Jonathan Grant High School, Jonathan Grant High School principal, him jump out and him say, if the student them should have ever show up with these types of bugs Monday morning now go look bright for them and I mean you know the school term officially start tomorrow 
All right, so drop it in the comment section. Let me know what you think about barring students from entering classes or even the school compound with those types of bugs with the word down sprinted on it. All right, so here again, we see another story. I am worried sick. MP says his 10 month old daughter and her mom seemingly abducted all right so here's a philip paul well i think i said him baby mother and him daughter have been abducted all right so opposition lawmaker philip paul well says his 10 year old or month old daughter saraya and her mother were seemingly abducted from their home in saint andrew on saturday yo this set away the police have launched a search for the two all right who were last seen about 7 a.m at their gates on glenmore drive in saint andrew and if i scroll down all right so patterson is of dark complexion slim built and five feet four inches tall while saraya is of dark complexion and about 75 centimeter tall patterson was dressed in blue tube top army green um, sweatpants and a pair of black crocs all right so according to Paulwell, this is a direct statement from Paulwell. this is scary and comes at a time when i have been threatening i have been threatened by scammers who have hacked my phone and banking data and are demanding money to release them all right so it seems like paul will know or some people ph paul will say yo them all them at ransom i guess if him should send on some money then we release him baby mother and him daughter yo this set away and this sad i swear Paul will again, I have made it clear that I will not give in to extortionists, but this is a serious and a dangerous development. I am worried sick over the safety and hope the police who have launched a high level investigation will find the abductors and get them both home safe and sound. Says like them old Philip Paulwell people them at ransom. And I say in need for sending on some money before. Yo, the thing you set away, big man thing. And it look like the abduction something I get. Yo, this are up more frequently in Jamaica. Where I get used to the something. Normally we only see them something up on the movies or in the movies, I swear. We don't normally hear about them something up in Jamaica. But every, yo, since of lately, you have to say every day somebody go missing. I don't know who I go on. You get me? Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Tashina Patterson and Sahara um, Saraya um, Paulwell is asked to contact the halfway tree police at 876-926-8184. Again, 876-926-8184. Meanwhile, the police yesterday also issued alerts for two other children who have been reported missing. So, as I may tell you, there's something that happens more frequently than you can even imagine. Now, we have a video of Buja Banta and I talk about the people that are going missing. And them quote a figure about the amount of babies that are going missing annual missing annually. Yo, it's staggering. We're not in. We're not country. Where are the police? Who fight crime? As the gone might be a night of black cloud. As you are raised up here and get it. I watch the nurse. As you are raised up here and get it. I watch the doctor. As you are raised up here. And what did Jamaicans do? Jamaicans talk for a couple of days and then kill your little child and swear your mind. 
All right, so 14 year old Abigail Winter, student of Kalalo Muse Kingston 20, has not been seen or heard from since September, um, September 7. She is of brown complexion, slim built, and about five feet tall. The Duane Park Police says about 11.30 a.m. last Thursday, Abigail was last seen at home wearing a white marina and a black tights. And not anyone knowing Abigail's whereabouts is asked to contact the Duane Park Police at 876-933-4280. Again, 876-933-4280. Zero. The police are also searching for a 16 year old Gabriel uh, Gabriel Ferguson of Cottage Drive, Gregory Park, St. Catherine, who has been missing since September 1. She is dark complexion, slim built, and about 5 feet 7 inches tall. Reports are from the Caymanas police are that about 7 a.m. Gabriel was last seen at home wearing a polka dot blouse, black shirt, and a pair of black flat shoes. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Gabriel Ferguson is being asked to contact the Caymanas police at 876-988-1719. One nine. Yo, when them people go missing, most of the time you don't know, find them. Most of the time, if you do find them, you find them dead. But I wonder if uh, the extortion thing really a play out. I don't know. Don't know if uh, the extortion thing this are. I can't tell. But Philip Paul will definitely I say his his issue is really the extortion. Some extortion is some people that try scam him. You know what I mean? So hopefully, them do what them need for do, and that work out proper. Yo, it's set away. It's set away. But may I say, the starting just the other day you now release some information, and I say yo, unemployment the down to one of the lowest we have ever seen in a long time. Unemployment they're about four point what four point three, four point four percent. Alright, so the unemployment rate dropped to 4.4%, but, yo, something can't understand how the unemployment rate will fall off. And at the same time, these types of, I think that we are seeing the abduction and missing person, violence and crime, robbery and all these things upon the rise. It's kind of counterintuitive. You know what I mean? So what my dad do now, I look through the unemployment rate and I see if there is any loophole, anything in it where my suggest say, yo, yeah, both of them can go hand in hand. Both of um, I um, mean like unemployment a fall while at the same time robbery, violent crime and all these things are increased. What could I not cause that? Alright, so when we're looking at the unemployment rate, a couple of things jump out at me. Alright, so here we have the unemployment rate by statin. See if we can increase this some more. No. Alright, so the labor force. When you're looking at the unemployment rate, the labor force is very important. Alright, because the unemployment rate is really a measure of what percentage of the labor force is working. All right, and the labor force are really people who are work are people who are actively seek work. So if it is that you are not actively seeking work, you live you're living, but you're not look for work. You're not working, and you're not look for work. You're not a part of the labor force, so you're not counted in the unemployment rate or the employment rate. All right, so it is persons that are actively looking work and actively seeking work. So one of the things where we normally want to look at when I talk about the labor force um, or the unemployment rate or the employment rate, but whichever, is we want to ensure that the labor force is increasing, meaning people are active, more people are actively seek work. All right. Then the 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 whatever data that they are giving you about the unemployment rate make more sense. All right, so if you look at here now, you see we're 
started to say the labor force has actually increased. All right, so in April 2023, there were 1.3 million persons in the labor force, and that is 23,500 or 1.7% more than in April 2022. All right, so the labor force now increased by 23,000 people. All right. The numbers, the employed persons increased by 43%. I mean, 43 million, 300, 43,300. What am I talking about? 43,300. All right, so if the labor force increased by 23,500, but the employed person increased by 43,300. Um, what that means is that everybody that enters the labor force get work um, plus people in the labor force from last year whenever they work them start work also you know what i mean so the labor force are expand and the employment rate are increase also however the most of the increase that jamaica witness in, in persons working now that is coming from or that is women or female all right so two-thirds of the increase but we are witnessing are the um people getting employment two-thirds of it 68 percent is female all right so maybe that are some of the problem why we are witness some of the things we are witness locally while at the same time the employment figures are showing better results all right is that this round of employment that we are facing for this year from april to 2022 to april 2023 majority of it are women so man now work as much as the increase all right so it now affect men as much as it, it is affecting women all right so maybe that are one of the problem that we are finding out that's so because most of the violence and crime most of the scamming most of the things them what we are say are mostly manner to them you know what i mean so what the government can do now is to put things in place to employ more men you get me and get more men to work because of these a man really are they are they are they what we say now when it comes down to violence and crime men are the perpetrators all right so most of the times <laughs> and if i come down here so now i talk about youth employment you realize that the youth employment where is it let me try to find that the employment among youth is far very 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 high so the youth from 14 to 24 years unemployment rate was 12.2 percent all right even though that decrease there was a decrease of 3.3 percent coming from 15.5 percent all right but that's still high very 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 high so even though the most of this unemployment rate coming down the youth them not getting no work i you know them said the devil fine um the devil find work for idle hands. You know what I mean? I mean, you know what I mean? And the most of the youth, they really attack with the ear, them. Talk the way there. All right, so the unemployment rate of male, 14 to 24 years, was 12%. And the unemployment um, the unemployment rate of female are 12.3%. Uh, All right, so, my thing, so this, this are all me, like, really kind of connect this unemployment rate this very low unemployment rate of 4.3 percent 4.5 percent and uh, the increase in violent crime in robbery all right obviously we are in mandeville just the other day the man them rob the scotia bank berylinium i said i said the uh, um guardsman change to berylinium all right so we saw them take the the, the brinks and them rob some money and all these things them something uh, more frequent than not 
You get me, I say? An evening mandible. Them something that are happening in a mandible. You get me? So, right now, it kind of set away. I would think the government needs to put policy in place so the youths them can get work and the man them can get work. Because when you look at the data we're starting to put out, that are the only thing. Those are the two points I'm going to say that can really um, connect the facts there. Uh, employment are decrease. Unemployment are decrease while the robberies and the things them where I say are increase. Alright? So the, and, and then you know so mostly men get involved in them illegal activities there. Eh? So government me to start focus policies in other sense to get the youth them and get the man them up and working. You know what I mean? At a at a higher rate or a higher level than women. Alright, and if you look at the type of work that 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 um is responsible for majority of the employment then you know it's not any skill work. So a problem that us again. I will even hear them say Jamaica is a plan for import workers from overseas. That no make no sense again because here you're saying unemployment is at its lowest. But you have a lot of areas of um skill areas where you have to start import workers for start working those areas all right so problem in it this data that may i say that a low unemployment rate is neither here nor there is a massa because we really now feel it in the economy anyways make we quickly move on before we jump over to um john jackson i see inside a top 10 pick and here is a headline that will affect the barita shareholders rita wasn't her usual self managers of humphrey's lowing affairs want court to reverse barita cornerstone deal yo well, I'm not understand, I'm not understand how the barita stock now turned down given this Headline: This has been something where I float on the market. All right, I float on the market from the other day. Um, so the argument is, we all know say Cornerstone by Barita, majority stake in Barita from Rita Humphrey. It was a big deal back in 2017. We see where the stock price, the stock price move up, yo, tremendously. I think Barita was trading at two dollars. Now Barita is trading way up now the 70s. At one point, Barita 70s. At one point, Barita was at one hundred dollar. All right, which the Gleaner actually put out a story that time. I said Barita has joined the the big man club, the one hundred billion dollar club. You know what I mean? A <laughs> blue collar finance always. I said Barita can't work that much. It no make no sense, you get me? But the market think different. Now we see where Barita trade um back down somewhat after the last APO with them do. Um we still believe Barita value is is higher than what Barita is really worth. But the market speaks differently, you know what I mean? So the market has said Barita worth up the so. However, this news come out, I'm gonna say the stock trade down any at all. I don't know if the market has already absorbed this news because what I'm seeing here is risk. You get me, I say? And it look like the market really see this as risk. But I could talk for a few and see what I go on. What, what the worst could have happened though? As whether well, the lawyers or managers that, that um governs Rita Humphrey's affairs or estate they must say they want the deal reverse so if the deal reverse it means alright remember say this one of the thing why the market buy into the Barita stock even after the Cornerstone deal is the fact that Cornerstone is far more aggressive alright Cornerstone management is far more aggressive than Rita Humphrey 
You know what I mean? Uh, no, we see the aggression because we see them come to market, come to the market for capital about three times since. I mean, I mean, that's a little bit of money. You know what I mean? We are talking about $13 billion in a one setting. You get me? I think them come to market for $15 billion also. So there's a lot of money them are, them are seek for put in at the operation. You get me? I say. So, because of that now, a lot of investors buy into the stock and trade the stock up. Now, if that should reverse and the deal is reversed as where the management are written on for it, seems like them want because I said she wasn't in her right mind like and you can't make deal with somebody who the hundred the contract there would be null and void you get me I say so men don't know this seems like risk though it seems like risk I think the corner stone boss I say yo I could go a quote if I quote and I want take it because him say him not do nothing wrong and him know Rita was quite fine when she was signing on the dotted lines you get me I say just the other day we see them throw up a, what was it some something like is a is a is a some cocktail party for Rita Humphrey and she and her husband was there the bank the the governor um the bank of Jamaica was also there and them I give them like a toast to Rita so I don't know it seems like it was a big party uh, 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 you know what I mean everything was all good so I don't know where this come from all of a sudden like the managers I must say yo <laughs> something all right about the deal however I think we're going to go and keep top of it uh, so I really are going so the committee managing Rita Humphrey's loans affair has asked the Supreme Court to undo more than two billion dollar worth of transaction involving the retired businesswoman and investment firm Cornerstone and its subsidiary Barita yeah so may I say yo Mr. this has risk to Barita added risk you get me But it just seems like the market view it as risk any at all. Because when I see where this data is is being um, incorporated into Barita's stock price. Because I see where the, the stock price traded down long before the the news came out. Alright, so we're going to keep top of that as I say. Uh, so I go on this so. Anyways, I could come on for that and I could go on. I see inside a top 10 stocks pick and here elite diagnostic moves into I see inside a top 10. Alright, so blue color finance talk about elite a lot of times. We even value elite the other day and fortunately for elite shareholders elite is valued for to us at some three dollars and nineteen cents we talk about that a lot of times i will see where elite a trade at way down you know what i mean so to us elite is a buy even though we know all of the issues all of the problems that elite has all right but we still believe that elite is undervalued and if elite should solve those problems then the stock price might um skyrocket even further than we expected all right so we could just jump right down to the top 10 to see which other stock entered the top 10 and which other stock fell out of the top 10 all right so this is the main market and according to john the main market there's not a lot of changes in the main market and i mean the usual suspect the jmmmb uh margaritaville is now heading the main market. I think the last time we look at the main market top 10 stock pick, um, Guardian Holding was <clears throat> the number one stock there. No, Margaritaville is heading the top 
10 with an expected gain of 661% over the coming year. All right, so Margarita Vilvier with a PE of just 2.6. All right, the last price was uh, the stock was traded at $16.30, and John is expecting that stock to trade up to $124. All right, so. As a result of that, Margarita Ville is, um, is there. One three eight student living just the other day, Blue Color Finance valued one three eight student living. We get that stock to be quite undervalued, all right. So the APO, the company is coming out at what four dollars and forty cents. They are selling um, each year at four dollars and forty cents. Our lower limit price is six dollars. So there you have the stock trading below the lower limit price of for us it's a buy all right so what john is saying here is that is expecting some 362 percent return on your money should you invest in 138 student living the stock is currently trading at four dollars and 33 cents it has a pe of just one all right no i'm sorry a pe of four four point three x all right, John is expecting that one to go up to $20 per share. All right. Um, our upper limit, the upper limit that we got on 138, I think is $13, $13 there about our, yeah, $13. Jamaica Boilers is there, key insurance there, Signals Credit Investment for Signals Credit Investors, JMMB. We see news of JMMB planning on kickstarting their buyback program. All right, so JMMB hint at that Friday, last Friday, the last trading day um, in the week. We see them put, um, JMMB put out a notice to say that the market is to remember that JMMB has a um buyback program that uh, should be commencing very shortly the company is planning on buying back some 10 million shares um in increment all right so the market should be looking out for that all right so that there's not much change in the top 10 stocks pick not much change there so i think what we should do is to just hop on down to the the junior market to see what are the changes all right so here is the junior market top 10 stock pick caribbean um, caribbean cream all right so creamy is leading out the junior market top 10 stock pick creamy i think creamy doesn't trade with a lot of volume that's one of the problem i'm having with creamy all right, cream is currently at three dollars and fifty cents. Um, John is expecting that one to go up to sixteen dollars. As a result of that, you could make some three hundred and fifty-six percent on your money. So here is Elite Diagnostic. All right, Elite Diagnostic is currently at one dollar and eighty-two cents. Um, it's going for a PE of four point six x. It's expected to trade up to eight dollars as a result of that you can make some 304 40 percent on your money and the focal is there at one dollar and forty cents all right so we will be watching this one very closely also john is expecting this one to go up to six dollars all right and the focal one and one one and one is trading at a um ipo price all right so it is just one cent above ipo price one on one came out at what one dollar ipo all right so one on one and he's expecting one on one to go up to um four dollars so that's some 296 percent on your money image plus image plus continues to be a part of the top 10 image plus is trading just two percent above the apo price all right so image plus came out at two dollars is trading at two dollars and five cents all right john is expecting this one to go to eight dollars all right so we will be watching out for that one also caribbean assurance is there general accident is also there iron rock is there everything fresh is there and here the surprise i create is there all right so let's look at the i create share it i create is suspended from trading all right 
just remember that I create you are unable to trade I create if you are a shareholder of I create I create had breached some of the Jamaica Stock Exchange rules all right in terms of its disclosure of its financials so I create never put out I think it was the second quarter result all right so the market is still anticipating the I create second quarter result as a result of that the Jamaica Stock Exchange has decided that I create should not continue to trade on the platform however the last time I create traded it traded at one dollar and three cents all right one dollar and three cents it has a pe of 5.2 and john is expecting that one to go up to four dollars as a result of that i create should be returning some 288 percent on your money all right so that's it for i see inside a top 10 stock pick all right that's it all right so that's it and guess what i beg you for like the video share the video drop a comment i'm like a chat about it you know how we do it over here let me talk to you in our next one all right cool